Iranian ground forces have unveiled seven new homemade military achievements including a robot to carry light to semi-heavy weapons. The achievements were unveiled on Sunday in the presence of the forces commander Brigadier General Qaimer Zadari and commander of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Aviation, 2nd Brigadier General Yusef Korbani. The robot has been named Caracal after a type of wild cat that can be found in parts of Iran. The automaton, which has been designed for ground warfare, has a top speed of 30 kilometers, 18 miles, per hour, and has an operating range that exceeds 500 meters, 0.3 mile. Caracal is equipped with an independent suspension system, smart remote control mechanism, laser rangefinder and an optical system. The ceremony also wheeled out Hadith, Goal, Minus 2, a new missile launcher with a canister capable of holding and firing two missiles at the same time. The launcher can be used for rapid deployment purposes and is fitted with an automatic leveler that can help it identify the best possible location for deployment. The ground force also inaugurated the Gohar, Gem, 4WD vehicle that is empowered to carry as much as 500 kilograms, 1102 pounds, off-road, and travel as far as 700 kilometers, 434 miles, at a maximum speed of 120 kilometers, 74 miles, per hour. Gohar can also travel across 70 grade lengthwise and 35 grade edgewise slopes and wade into waters that run 80 centimeters deep. Chabak, Agile, an extremely fast frequency shuffling system, was another item that was put on display during the event. The apparatus provides a highly secure link among ground and airborne communication devices by changing the frequencies traveling between them at a 200,000 per second rate, thus blocking all radar jamming attempts by the enemy. The ceremony also featured unveiling of piston engines for drones with capacities ranging from 40 to 400 milliliters. At the former capacity, the engines can fly a 30 kilogram, 66 pound, drone. A relief and rescue robot dubbed Massa, Messiah, and a new tank carrier were also exhibited at the event. The ground forces commander hailed Messiah as a remarkable helping hand for the military's medical staff, who are busy fighting the new coronavirus pandemic. The impressively titled Research and Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army Ground Forces has unveiled a new family of unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs. In a press statement this week from a domestic arms show in Tehran, the Iranians showed still images and a short video of the six-wheeled UGVs in action. Designed as network-connected anti-infantry and armor-smart UGVs, the Hyder 1 family apparently includes at least two and possibly three variants, however, it is difficult to be certain based on the limited imagery. One appears to follow the wartime Russian idea of mind dogs, or the German Goliath as an anti-armor capability with the UGV intended to drive up to or under an armored fighting vehicle, AFV, before detonating. The other crudely mounts, what looks to be the KLT variant of the Iranian 7.62x 39mm KL 7.62, with a DD arm Pi KMS 72 style folding stock, upside down with separate optic. It has more in common with similar craft produced anti personnel UGVs made by a number of factions in the Syrian civil war. 
All variants feature exposed antennae and a miniature camera. The anti-armor variant could conceivably employ an explosively formed projectile EFP, charge which the Iranians mastered and exported to various Shia militia groups during the Iraq insurgency. Its successful employment would, however, rely upon the target vehicle not employing any form of electronic counter-eed, improvised explosive device, technology. Active counter-eed systems are commonplace on US and NATO AFVs and work by jamming radio signals meaning that the Hyder one would likely be easily immobilized. The promotional video also showed the UGVs operating in tandem with a number of quadcopter-style unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, with the intention clearly being the UAVs spotting targets for the Hyder UGVs to engage. Again with increasing counter UAV measures being fielded by Western armies, the utility of this approach is also open to question. The system could potentially be employed against lower technology opponents or in terrorist attacks with deadly effect. The Islamic Republic of Iran Army Ground Forces, Nizaja, recently revealed the Hyder One project, a group of small, networked robotic ground vehicles developed by the Research and Self-Sufficiency Jihad Organization of the Iranian Army. The proclaimed network connected anti-infantry and armor smart UGVs, unmanned ground vehicles, prototypes were on display at an Army Weapons Expo in Tehran. The six-wheeled boxy bots, according to images and videos released by Nizaja, come in six versions, including two that carry assault rifles mounted to their tops and one that is essentially a mobile anti-tank mine. The vehicles are topped with pairs of ruggedized antennae and small cameras. The assault rifle-equipped versions also appear to have a telescopic optic sensor for weapons aiming. The use of remote-controlled uncrewed ground vehicles is not uncommon in the Middle East, ISIS and other non-state organizations have built their own from commercially available parts. And the concept of remote-controlled moving weapons dates back to World War I with the French Army's use of radio-controlled land torpedoes, the Germans would use the cable-tethered Goliath-tracked mine against tanks in World War II. But as Samuel Bendit, an advisor at the Center for Naval Analyses, told C4 Israelites Kelsey Atherton, this is the first time that Iran has publicly displayed armed UGVs. Equally interesting is their claim that this will be a networked system of vehicles that can presumably function in more or less autonomous mode, Bendit added. But the prototypes displayed are still essentially remote-controlled vehicles.